Hey, so here we are. I wanted to show you uh, what I uh, consider my go box for uh, my ham radio activities. Uh, I'm part of the Aries uh, Racy's um, emergency communications group with our local ham uh, uh, county group. So um, one of the things they want us to have is a uh, kind of a go box that we could uh, take and put in a in an emergency comm center or uh, whatever situation we needed. So, uh, this is my version of a go box. It's not doesn't have a battery in there or anything like that. I know some guys would prefer to have batteries and everything, bells and whistles. But this works for me, so we'll unbox this and uh, show you what I have. So I took the lid off here, and you can see this is a, it's just a standard uh, ammo box. It's uh, 16 inches high by 5.5 inches. Um, or the, This is 5.5 inches, 16 this way. And you can see I've got my... Uh, Got my radio in there. I'll pull all that out and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so what I have here is um, just using uh, some half-inch uh, particle board I had lying around the house, and uh, kind of mounted everything to that. I've got a, uh, it's a USB cable that connects to. Um, I have a uh, Open Tracker uh, TNC back here. That's this item right here. And that I uh, use that for uh, connecting up and uh, uh, accessing the WinLink e email system. Um, I was using this in my Jeep for my um, APRS, but I have a different radio in here. So this here is a Kenwood, uh, the TMV71, and uh, as you can see I got a little um, the MFJ, uh, it's a uh, 281 little speaker mount in here as well. All the radio sits right here. I've got little holes in the side on this side so I can access the uh, uh, the uh, mounting brackets and um, uh, TNT mounted down here as well and then the, the control head here so power supply sits right here I don't have any uh, I need to get some power poles on it temporarily I'm just using this right here uh, for now that uh, um, that's what hooks into my uh, my linear uh, um, power supply but I will be changing that out to some power poles so it's uh, compatible with uh, other setups with our group so um, works very well. It uh, slides in and out of the box. Uh, it's in there stiff. I put this piece so uh, it doesn't uh, move inside of the uh, in in the ammo box uh, up and down and uh, cause any damage to this. But it's great. It's, it's sealed, waterproof. I can throw it in my Jeep and uh, hook it up to the radio in there if I want, uh, or uh, to the power supply in there, and and use my second antenna I have on my Jeep, which is uh, helpful. So here's the uh, setup uh, plugged in, as you can see, and. Um the uh, speaker quality is, is just fine. It doesn't echo or anything in the box here. Here it is right here. here okay? Yeah, that's affirmative. So we're going to be out for a little while. But... So I've got this hooked up to my uh, rooftop antenna in the house. Um, you can see the antenna just pops in there. If I need to hook up my uh, my computer for USB, I'll just put it right I'll just pull this cable out and I'll reach to it, no problem. I have a laptop that handles that. And then uh, over here I've got my uh, linear um, power supply. And uh, and then it just sits up on a shelf here when I'm ready. I just un unhook it all and take it out and take it with me, take it wherever I need to go. So, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.